Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Spanish Campaign. Right now we are besieged at Thurman and we really have almost no strength left here. We have a couple of decent units, but it's looking very grim here. I'm going to combine these troops just because with the walls completely knocked down, the Broody Eye can just attack next turn. They have a pretty scary army, so I'm very nervous about Thurman. I really hope that we can defend that city. In France, Carbassi the Conqueror is prepared with another full army to take on the Britons who we're now at war with, and he's facing up against Cador the Conqueror. So next turn, we might be fighting some chariots for the first time. Ooh, very scary. In Northern Africa, Gregory the Conqueror and Gregory the Second are just one turn away from taking Dimity. There are just two troops here, so this should be a very easy battle. But then we have to decide what we do about Abdeshmoon Famius. The Carthaginian general, he's their faction leader, and he has war elephants, armored war elephants. So we're, we've been stocking him with Bilo the Allergites with a little army, but I'm not really sure how we want to actually fight these elephants, because we just don't have a strong army that can really handle it. So we'll have to figure that out. My goal is just take Dimini and Nept as fast as possible so we can end this war. But yeah, that needs to get done somehow. And the main thing that we're waiting on is for our glorious armada the biggest fleet the world has ever seen which is transporting seven generals over from northern africa and sicily to greece the front line of our battle so we just need to survive at thurman long enough for the reinforcements to arrive and then hopefully we can take the rest of greece now real quick i want to add a few more troops to the queue in northern italy just some cavalry because we never really finished an army there and then we need some heavy infantry as well. So anywhere we can build bull warriors, we'll build them in Aredium and Ariminum, in Rome. And then we have a few bull warriors in Rome, which I want to send south to Tarentum. We'll send that over to Greece as soon as we get there. Because we've really been lacking heavy infantry in Greece. We're definitely going to need that. And we don't have that many places to train heavy infantry because we just haven't gotten around to switching over the religious buildings yet. So we'll build some Longshow Cavalry in Tarentum and Crodon just to have some strength that we can send over soon enough. And there's nothing else to do this turn. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Yeah, I was dreading that we would be attacked at Thurman, but we are, so we have to muster a defense here somehow. Uh, Cornelius Pilatus, let's take a look at him. He has three stars of command. He's very young, and he has Drillmaster for minus two morale. So that's great for me. Hopefully these troops break pretty easily in the city center of Thurman. Um, but we'll just have to see how this goes. We don't have the defense of the walls. So this is going to be harder than last time. Because last time they ran through the walls and just got shot a bunch by towers before they broke the towers. So we had more of an advantage that time. And the game drew up my army just in a line down the center of the map as if we're in like a, a field battle. So that's kind of strange. I think it's because the walls have already been breached. But I wonder if you could kind of convince the AI to shift their line and eventually abandon a city just because they started the battle with the walls knocked out. <laughs> kind of seems like it because that's what they're trying to do for me. We're going to have our infantry pulled a little bit further back because we just don't have that much infantry left. And we're going to make sure that the enemy gets fully onto the city center before we fight with them. We won't have anyone with fire at will enabled except the Cretans because we don't want to waste any ammunition on the weaker units. Put the Cretans right behind the infantry and then let's put the cavalry kind of just in the wings. We'll start with th these three units. Put them over here so that after the units break we can charge in and just kind of mop up whoever's running away. And then over here we'll take these three units and put them on this flank. And that's a lot of heavy cavalry or light cavalry, I guess. Um, but I'm very happy about that. We'll have one unit here just in case the enemy come from over here and I don't see them coming. We can kind of cushion the blow for the Cretans. And then, oh, we have a unit of mercenary hoplites. We'll put them maybe right here just to kind of soften whatever blow comes to the front line. Let's go ahead and start the battle. It's going to take a while for the enemy to get in the city. Um, but yeah, now we don't have any towers. Oh, except this one. Oh, oh, interesting. So it resets your gateway to 98% if they've destroyed it. So 
We're going to get some arrows in this heavy infantry as it walks into the city. So I'm grateful for that. I'm not really sure why it does that. And they're sending in, looks like a really weak unit of Hastati first. I'm not really sure that's a great idea. Um, I am tempted. How do I want to do fire at will here? I could just fire at these Hastati in order to break them, but I want to save my ammunition with the Cretans. I'll turn on fire at will for like this really weak unit of Scutarii. So if the Hastati are the first ones to enter the plaza, they'll take some shots from my Scutarii, but they won't waste the ammunition of everyone else. Let's slow things down a little bit. They're nearly in range. Can these Cretans get a shot on these early legionaries? Yes. All right, so we're going to shoot at this block of 159 early legionaries. And I'm tempted to use flaming ammo. Just hurt their morale a little bit. Why not, right? That's the only reason we're doing this. And we'll just keep firing like this. The Scutari will be in range soon for these Sistati. Let's see how this does for their morale. Panic by fire attack. That'll help a little bit. And hopefully as they get up here, they will feel like they're encircled because they are. But they have a lot of heavy infantry here, so I'm not sure this is going to be as easy as I'm expecting. Now they're charging directly into the front of these hoplites with this little unit of Hastati. So that's nice. Um, this unit honestly might just break against these hoplites. Over here, let's go ahead and turn on fire at will because these early legionaries, that's a pretty tough unit. We'll get these Scutarii firing their javelins. And we just want everyone to be fully on the plaza, fully concerned about their exposed flanks, and then we will charge in with cavalry from all sides. So let's turn on fire at will over here and over here. And I think we're nearly in position perfectly now. Let's see if these Cretans can fire a little more. No, they don't want to do it. All right. I think this might be the time to charge in. Let's get our cavalry over here, just behind the enemy. And this cavalry will do the same thing. We have Light Auxilia over here, which actually would break pretty easily. I think this is the time. All right, charge into the rear of this infantry. You guys charge in these Light Auxilia. And hopefully everyone feels totally encircled and breaks. The Light Auxilia have broken. No big surprise there. We'll send one unit to chase them down and just get 67 more kills on them. And the rest of this infantry we want to kill right here now. So come on, collapse in on them. Some of them are breaking. There we go, all of them have broken. Perfect. This is a, this is a huge blow to the Romans here. And we've almost cut them all down. Oh, not sure what the Cretans are doing. Don't get involved. Don't want any casualties from them. And these Light Auxilia have reformed. I don't know if it's worth charging them with this cavalry. They're wavering. Yeah, we might just let them fight this out. This could be another good win here. But we are taking some casualties here. Hopefully they break right away. Come on. You're nearly there. Wavering. There we go. Broken. Get a few more kills there. And then we'll send this cavalry back. All right. Down to two. That's good enough for me. Let's retreat. And we've killed 40% of the enemy, but we've lost 16% of our troops as well. And it was mostly heavy infantry that we lost. So that wasn't a great start. I mean, it was a good start for sure, but could have gone better. We'll get our cavalry back in position, get our infantry back in position. And let's make sure we're not being flanked around the city. Looks like we are. Who's over here? Some basic auxilia. That doesn't even look like a full unit, so I'm not too worried about them. We'll deal with them when they get on the plaza. Let's get everyone back in position. Are we, are we in position? All right, we're looking good. I think when these auxilia get in range of the Cretans, we'll fire a few shots at them, and then we'll send over some Scutarii to deal with them. Over here, we have some Principes. We'll fire a few volleys at them with the Cretans just to weaken them up a little bit. That'll get their morale a little bit lower. And then honestly, we can just charge them with cavalry because we have so much cavalry. We can pretty easily handle a unit like Principes. But we'll let them push onto the plaza. 
give them a chance. But they're very tired. They're panicked by fire attack. So they're not doing well morale-wise. How are we doing? All right, they're, they say they're eager. Hmm. We'll see here. All right, they're shaken. I'm going to tell the Cretans to stop firing, and we're letting the cavalry charge from all sides. They're wavering. They'll probably break immediately. Beautiful. We lost hardly any cavalry here. Wait, can we stop firing? There we go. Nice, easy win. So let's get our cavalry back on the flanks. Three over here. The rest over here. And the Auxilia are nearly in range of my Cretans. I'll send them over here. Oh yeah, we have a shot on them now. We'll just let our Cretans get fully in position. And we'll use our Scutarii to hammer them off the map. Alright, we're in range. Let's go ahead and fire with our Cretans. Get some shots in on these Auxilia. Our shot is somewhat blocked by a building... So we may not have the best results. Oh no, we're, we're killing a few of them. That's not bad. And over here we have some Praetorians getting involved. So we need to be prepared for them. I don't really understand their plan of sending in waves that will just break very easily. But whatever floats their boat. Now these Auxilia are at 83. And I think that we can easily handle them with our Scutarii. So I'll probably redirect my Cretans now. Let them get one more volley in. There we go. And yeah, we just want to be prepared for the Praetorians. So go ahead over here and we'll let our Scutarii come over here. They will fight the Auxilia once they're on the city center. And these Praetorians are actually going to be, I think, pretty difficult. So let's prepare flaming ammo. We need any advantage we can get with morale. Yeah, I'm nervous. These Praetorians, 161 Praetorians, we just don't have that much strength left in our entire army. So hopefully we can cause a break here. They do have the minus two morale from Drillmaster on their general. Yeah, we'll see. I'm a little bit nervous about those Praetorians. These Auxilia are shaken. Honestly, if they can break at the right moment, it might have a negative effect to the morale of the Praetorians. So... Hopefully this lines up where when the Auxilia break, they are near enough to the Praetorians. I think I think it will work. So we're going to keep firing with our fire arrows on these Praetorians. We'll break these Auxilia. They're wavering already. And they've already broken. And let's send my weakest unit of cavalry over to run them down. But honestly, they're running through the Praetorians. They're running in that direction. So we're going to let them flee that way because it's going to provide a morale debuff. And we will commit our infantry any second to just pinning down these Praetorians. And they're shaken already. So this is going well. Let's charge in with the infantry. And then we will hit them in the flank with our cavalry. They're steady for now. But they're about to be encircled. And we'll see if they stay steady. Yeah, shaken. Wavering. We really need to break them right here and now. Broken. Amazing. All right. We just killed a whole unit of Praetorians. That's crazy. I was kind of scared when it went immediately back to Eager as soon as we ran down the last light auxilia. I was kind of feeling like they might never break. But perfect. We killed their Praetorians. That was their strongest unit. And let's... Get back in position. I think we're doing fairly well. We are draining some strength here. So we need to be somewhat careful. But we're we're still doing well. We've killed 59% of the enemy. And they've only killed 19% of my army. So that's pretty good. But they are starting this battle stronger than we are. We have the defender's advantage. But that's it. So this is not a one battle yet. Right now we're just waiting on some Astati to finish climbing the walls. So... This could take a while. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And we'll, we'll, we'll skip to when they finally make it off the walls. Because they're not very smart about it. So the Hastati have made it off the walls. But now they're trying to climb the walls with some early legionaries. So this is going to take forever. But it does mean that we can fight these Hastati by themselves. We don't have to deal with them having reinforcements. So that's kind of a blessing in disguise. 
Let's take a look at what's left outside the city. So we know there's some early legionaries there. These are early legionaries. These are early legionaries. So th they actually have a lot of their strength still. I'm going to hold off on using my Cretans ammunition for now. I don't want to waste their ammo on some Hestati. And yeah, hopefully we have enough strength for the second half of this battle. All right, let's see what their morale is. The Hestati say they're eager. We'll put that to the test. We're going to let them charge into the infantry. And then now that they're pinned, we'll charge from all sides. Yeah, they've broken immediately. So not as eager as they may hope. Let's get our cavalry back in position. And I think we're ready for the next wave. No one else is flanking us, right? No. Who's next? We have some early legionaries. These are the ones from the siege tower. So we'll just wait for them to show up and we'll do the same thing to them. And they're sending their infantry on this weird route. I don't know if they're actually going to just go back to the same entrance from a different path or if they're going to go all the way around the city. But they're just tiring themselves out, so I'm not really sure that this is a great plan. Let's see which way they go. Oh, it's a, a standard legionary cohort, so I think it's even better than the early legionaries. But there are only 99 of them. Yeah, they're just they're just tiring themselves out. They're just going the long way. They're kind of quirky. It's not a full strength unit, so I don't think we need to use our Cretans yet. Let's slow this down a little bit just in case this doesn't go well. And let's commit my infantry now. Maybe not. We'll see what these legionaries do. They're smart, they're going for the flank. Yeah, they're going for the flank, so we're going to send in the infantry over here, and then we'll send in the cavalry over here shortly after, and then we'll send in these cavalry over here. So hopefully they feel somewhat encircled, but legionaries have really good morale, so I just really hope they break here. Oh, they broke already. Wow. These guys are flimsy. Romans are weak. Use your brain. Boom, and we ran down the whole unit. Okay, um, nice and easy. Let's get back in position. Speed this up a little bit, see who the next wave is. And now we have that bug where some of the units say that they're fighting even though they aren't. So I'm gonna see if I can convince them to change their mind about that because I think that's the reason that the enemy aren't sending troops into the city, just that my troops are still technically fighting. So I'm just gonna try moving them maybe one at a time, just get the units to get some movement. And then I'm gonna tell them to just halt what they're doing. Hopefully that's enough. No, they, they still think they're fighting. There's no enemies here, this is just a bug. So I'm gonna redraw up the infantry and redraw up the cavalry up here. Yikes, don't really know how to break that. I'm gonna try and tempt some enemies into the city by just sending out my weakest unit of cavalry. I'll just send them out to fight these uh, archers. See if we can tempt them into the city. So my 14 cavalry are preparing to attack some archers. There are just three here for now. Uh, have they broken yet? Not yet. Let's get a charge in with this guy. <laughs> hey, they're doing somewhat well. Come on, kill the archers. Yeah, this isn't working. We're not actually managing to tempt them out into a fight. I'm really not sure why my cavalry is so broken and why the enemy won't just send troops into the city. I just don't want to march out there with my cavalry and then have them break against a unit of legionaries and then just lose the battle. All right, what I'm gonna do is send Cretans up here, see if I can get them up on this wall and just shoot down at the enemies. That seems like a good way to get them involved in the fighting. So they're nearly to the wall. Let's see if they can go up this tower. I don't know if they can go up a broken tower. Yes, they can. We'll turn off um, fire will and fire arrows. We don't need to be using those. We'll just use regular arrows to do maximum damage. And from here, we have a shot on all of the enemy infantry. Who do we want to shoot? Let's shoot their strongest unit of legionaries. Why do we not have a shot from here? 
This is very strange. Draw up like this. They had a shot before. All right, we have a shot now. Let's fire at these legionaries and do a lot of damage since we have the high ground. Starting at 161, they're already down to 139. So this is a good start. We want to get each of these units relatively weak so we can break them easily. Let's shoot these Velite Gladiators. Since they don't have a lot of armor, they'll take a lot of damage from the archers. All right, got them down to 62, got these Legionaries down to 101, and we're out of ammunition, so let's send the Cretans back to the city center. And I'm going to take one of my units of cavalry and try to use them just to break some of the weaker units of enemy infantry. So I'm going to send them outside of the city from a different gate because I don't want them to get stuck around all of the confusion with this section of wall being knocked down and everything. So we're just going to go out at this gate. And meanwhile, these guys are just fighting air. They're, they're losing their minds. Too much fighting. Trying to get my Cretans to safety, but they don't want to cooperate. And now our cavalry is outside of the city. We're just using one unit because if we lose them, we want to still be able to hold the city center. Um, we just want to snap the enemy out of whatever funk they're in where they won't push into the city. So it looks like the archers are coming over to challenge them. I'm, I'll go ahead and kill these archers. Um, oh, actually, looks like they all died in front of the uh, tower over here. So that works for me. Um, <laughs> kill them really quickly. Honestly, if we can get anyone to chase us just in front of these towers, that would not be a bad way to get some kills on this army. All right, so the enemy general is reacting. Let's keep our cavalry moving. They shouldn't be able to catch us. We're just going to keep moving along these towers. And no, they did catch us. So hopefully that knocks them out of their little funk where they didn't want to go into the city. No, it didn't. All right, I'm going to slow it down next time. Keep it on double game speed. It's a little easier to control. And let's get our cavalry out here again. We are faster than the enemy general. We just had the game on triple speed, so we were a little bit harder to control. Okay, they're following, so let's just run this direction. If they chase us past all these towers. That's a good thing. All right, they're taking shots. We want to run right over here. Just get all the way past all of these towers. See how many shots we can get into this general. Yep, this tower's firing. Keep it moving. Just keep running. We're slightly faster than the enemy general, I believe. All right. Keep moving. We'll run them all the way around the city if we have to. All right, come on, keep moving. They are right behind us, so they might catch us. Hopefully not. And they'll take a few more shots here. They're down to 44. They've taken some damage, but looks like they're catching my unit. Hopefully we can outrun them. For some reason, my light cavalry is just not that light. All right, keep it moving. Come on, don't get caught. Or if you get caught, at least get caught in front of a tower. All right, they're down to 44. Come on, keep moving. Yeah, they're not very smart. This is not sustainable. We're gonna lose this battle at this rate. I just, I need to try to get them inside the city or at least get them to take enough damage from the towers that we can beat the general. But yeah, hopefully they just follow us inside the city right now. That'd be perfect. All right, flee through the gate. Come on. No, not going to flee through the gate. Oh, come on. Follow in. No. That's a shame. I'll send my one cavalry right here outside the gate. Hopefully they take some damage from the towers. All right. Let's see if they react. I'm going to try the same thing here where I just run around the city. Just run over here. See if they catch us. They're winded already. My unit is also winded. Let's see if we can get some damage on them. They're down to 40. And they're going to run all the way over here to this gate. Looks like they're getting kind of confused chasing the single rider. 
which I'm all right with. The issue with the last one was that they were just falling really effectively. They were like pathing better than my unit was. But I think with one cavalryman, they get kind of confused and they're just standing in front of this tower, which is perfect for me. So keep moving. They're trying to pursue. Keep moving over to this tower. Keep moving this way. Looks like they're closing the distance slightly. Hopefully they don't catch us. Let's run all the way over to this tower. Okay, they've lost interest, so we need to do something to re-encourage interest. How many are left in this unit? Looks like about 30. I mean, we could probably just rush them with my cavalry and win it, but... I just don't want to risk losing that much cavalry. Yeah, they're down to 39. It's still pretty strong. All right, keep moving. No, that unit broke. Maybe they will pursue into the city. That's what we're hoping for. No, nope, they're not doing it. Man, this is, this is hard. Do we just march out of the city with the cavalry and smash into whatever we can find? That's what I wanted to avoid because... That's how you risk breaking and losing your whole army, but we might have to just risk it at this point. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm just committing to it. Let's send all of my cavalry outside of the city. I'll send out my heavy infantry as well. We just need as much strength as possible. Get them all over here. So they're in position outside the city. We're going to let everyone rest a little bit. And then once everyone's back to fresh, we will try to start a fight over by a tower over here. So I'm thinking this is the ideal place to have our battle. So we'll line up our infantry here and then we'll line up the cavalry here to kind of go for a flank. And I'll speed this up and just let everyone get in position and then rest up. Unfortunately, our cavalry units are really confused because these couple of soldiers are bugged out. So I don't really know how to fix them. Hopefully it's not too big of an issue. So they have one unit of Velite Gladiators, a battered unit of early legionary cohort, and another unit of early legionary cohort that's holding ladders. So I think they slightly outnumber us as far as like actual infantry strength, but we do have the benefit of the cavalry. Let's draw up a little bit closer. We'll slow this down a little bit. We're not going to be able to use a tower if we move closer, but I do need to actually start this fight at some point. And we'll get our cavalry over here just to flank the enemy. And I mean, I guess if we start this battle with the early legionaries who are holding the ladder, I think they try to drop the ladder, but maybe they will be a little bit slower to join the fighting if they're caught up using ladders. So that's the hope. Let's move a little bit closer with the infantry and we'll move the cavalry even further on the flank, like so. And they're getting a little bit nervous, it looks like which is good for me. Says they're eager, says everyone is eager, but they are concerned over the exposed flank. Let's send our cavalry into, or rather send the infantry into the early legionary cohort on the ladders. We'll attack the Velites with our other infantry. And then let's charge into the rear of these legionaries, try to break them with our cavalry. Okay, we have one break, okay. Beautiful, all of them broke. I was concerned there'd be an issue with them not breaking, but nope. Should be pretty easy to clean these guys up. And then we just have to kill the general and then we won the battle. And at this point we've killed 95% of the enemy army, but we still have to kill the enemy general in order to win this. So we're not quite there yet, but I mean, we have so much cavalry, so much infantry. I think we can handle them. Their general is on the move. I don't know if he's targeting us over here or what his plan is. But let's go ahead and draw it by a tower. Is this tower busted? Nope, it's at 44%. So let's draw up here by this tower and we'll just draw up like this, nice and wide. And I'm happy to fight him in front of a tower. Okay, we have one break, but the enemy is broken. We ran him down. Perfect, battle one. We can go ahead and end the battle now that we've killed the enemy general, but. Maybe we'll run down the last few soldiers. Has he died? No, he actually hasn't died. Do we want to let him escape is the question. Um, 
we'll we'll let fate decide. Whether he gets caught will be based on the speed of my soldiers. Okay, he escaped. I'm all right with that, only because he has the minus two morale from Drill Master, so he's just going to keep bringing armies back with minus two morale, and I'll just hopefully keep beating those armies, so I'm all right with that. I would call this a heroic victory as well. We're down to only 800 troops, so I don't know how many more of these battles we can win, but I'm just glad this one was a success. Hopefully no one attacks right now. Please don't attack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they never leave me alone. And we just had a settlement bribed. Alessia has been bribed by the Britons. Leave me alone. I hate this. All right. So we have Kerbassi the Conqueror here with some war elephants. We can take back Alessia. That's no problem. But just, just will you stop, please? I really don't like you, Duva of Vindelicum. Stop bribing settlements. Let's take a look at Captain Valerius's army that's besieging Thurman. Oh, no. More Praetorians. I'll sally out just to see what they have. Oh my gosh. It's all Praetorians and early legionaries and Archer Auxilia. All with experience. All with armor. Yeah, I don't see any way in the world we win this battle if they attack Thurman next turn. So I think we're losing Thurman, but we'll take it back hopefully with the reinforcing armada. How far away are we? We're still two or three turns away. I think we're losing Thurman, unfortunately. All right. In the meantime, let's grab back Alessia. This will be a nice, easy battle. It's just a unit of swordsmen in there. So shouldn't be any issue with Norbert the Elephant here. That last battle was very long, so I'll try to make this one nice and quick. Let's grab Norbert the Elephant, bring him all the way up to the gate, start the battle, and this should be over in just a few minutes. Just knocking down the gates. Look at Norbert. Such a good lad. Good job. So there we go. Gate is knocked down. Let's get Norbert inside the city just to start peppering the troops on the city center with his archers. And I'll just grab all of the cavalry, send them inside the city. We will overwhelm the enemy with just numbers. All right, we are starting to fire with Norbert's archers, and if they charge off the city center, we will easily break them with the elephants. So I'm not too worried about that. Honestly, we could probably push this unit off the city center with the number of cavalry we have here. So I might just do that. Let's grab all the cavalry once they're inside the city. All right, pretty much everyone's here now. Let's charge these swordsmen. This should be nice and quick. Just push them off the city center. They'll break once they're pushed off. Yep. We'll continue the battle just to run them down, but nice and quick battle over. They killed 90 of us, but that's okay. And we're just going to occupy Alessia. We don't need to enslave it or anything, but the population is getting a little bit out of control. So we might just need to train up some more troops here. Just combined all the troops and we will retrain the unit that needs some retraining. Uh, we'll get some better armor and weapons for the remaining cavalry. And I'll work on a little bit more cavalry. We'll build some garrison for the city so that we have a little bit higher cost to bribe Alessia the next time they try it. And you know what? I have a diplomat up here. Let me see if I can bribe their city back. Who do they have here? They have a general, so I probably won't be able to bribe it. I'm so tempted. 150,000 denarii is a lot of money. All right, I'm not going to do it, but I am tempted. How good are you? Mm, you're not good. All right, we're just going to let that be. But how dare you bribe my settlement? Boo. Let's take a look at the end of turn report. We profited 9,655 denarii that turn. That's pretty good. And ooh, Iker of Hispalis got honest man. That's a great retinue. Not going to be very useful because he's just going to be sitting in Cordoba. But that is a really nice piece of retinue. I should probably pass that on to someone more important. And of course, Thurman has been besieged again. Yeah, we knew about that. Let's take a look at our construction report. In Narbomardius, we have stables. We'll go ahead and build a meeting hall here. Eventually, we want to build Scutaria in Narbomardius. So we're going to continue working towards that. In Massilia, we have a stockade finally. Let's go ahead and build a market here. In Lugdunum, we just repaired our walls. There's nothing else we can build here. 
But in Northern Africa, we are finally ready to take Dimity. Let's see if we know where that other army went. Yeah, this army is still pushing towards Dimity. They have so many elephants. This is so scary. But yeah, let's go ahead and take Dimity off the Carthaginians. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just two units here. Oh, and those two units are just elephants. So shouldn't be difficult. We'll just hit them with some missiles. Hopefully they'll run amok and will be easy targets. So we only brought siege towers. This will take a little while to take the city, um, but I'll send all of my siege towers up. Just, you know, maximize the chance of one of them making it to the walls. And we'll speed this up, just let them do their thing. They're just gonna be hanging out in the city center, so we'll find them there and we'll just kill them with our slingers. So we lost one of our siege towers already. I'll retreat the troops that were with it. The other two have not lit fire yet. I think they're gonna make it. Yes, both of them have made it to the walls, so that's good. But we are taking a lot of casualties from the towers here, so that's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. So we've taken the walls. Let's come over here, grab the gateway, and then we'll open the door for the rest of the army. And I'll start pulling up the Balearic Slingers that I want to use to kill the enemy elephants. Let's send this unit of bull warriors over to turn this tower. I just don't want to risk taking any casualties from that. Come on over here. And I'll also bring in my Numidian mercenaries. That's a great unit for killing elephants. Since they have literally nothing but elephants, may as well use all of our missiles while we have them. So get the Numidians inside the city and I will position them right over here. Get them a little bit closer. If we can hit them without having to go on the plaza, that would be ideal because they're not gonna skirmish very well from the plaza, but it looks like that's not an option. Let's just go over on the corner of the plaza over here. No reaction from the elephants yet. Okay, they're pursuing somewhat. Let's run this way. Just try and get to safety and fire off all your missiles. Oh no, we're getting hit. Hopefully the Numidians don't break. Just try to skirmish. See, this is why I hate skirmish. They just kind of stand around. They don't run in the right direction. And they're all just going to die here. Come on, get out of here. So, yeah, that was not a great start to trying to kill these elephants. Just do a containment circle over here. No, no, we're just getting charged again. Just get out of here. Try and save yourselves. This is not working. Just run. Just get out of here. Throw a few javelins as you run. We've killed, I think, one elephant in this whole battle so far, so that did not go well. Let's go ahead and get our Scutarii positioned on top of these walls right here, and we'll have them on fire at will. So in case the elephants try to charge over here, we can at least get some javelins into them. I'll have my Numidians hang out here. And let's get the Balearic Slingers inside the city. And actually what I'm going to try to do is instead of having the Scutarii up on the walls, I'm going to get the Slingers up on the walls and just try and use some unit to draw the elephants into range of the Slingers. So let's get one unit of Slingers up on these walls, one unit of Slingers up on these walls. I'll speed this up a little bit. It's always kind of a juggling act when you're trying to deal with elephants in a weird environment. Get all the way over here maybe, that would be ideal. And if we can get these slingers drawn up like here, come on. Not very receptive to being moved right now. That might be good enough. Let's just get one of our units to try to draw them out. We'll use probably the Numidians again. And I'll just drop some Scutarii here. Why are we losing slingers? What are you dying of? How did you just die? I swear, my troops are so stupid in this game. Something about the Spanish soldiers is just diabolically stupid. I think they fell off the wall or something. I'm not sure. And these guys are just bunching up in a corner over here. What are you doing? Please stop. Oh, don't go there. That would be perfect. All right, we'll see if this works. Can, can we please? Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I think I just spent five minutes trying to position these slingers in a way that was not the stupidest thing in the world. 
So that's the best we're going to get. <laughs> Let's grab these Numidians and we're going to disable Katabrian Circle, disable Skirmish Mode. We don't want to give any control over their movement to the unit itself because they're going to make stupid decisions. And we're just going to come over here as bait. Let's see if we can convince these elephants to follow us into a trap. So we're just going to get in range and then stop running. And they're following already, so let's retreat. They're not following us, unfortunately. Come on. Let's see if we can get them to follow. Come on. You need to follow me. No, they're not interested. Fire off some javelins at them. Hopefully get a kill here. Okay, they're following. Let's run into the trap. Come on, follow me. I don't know if they're smart or stupid, but it's keeping them safe, whatever it is. Okay, come on. We're almost in range of the slingers. I don't know what exactly the slingers range is. It's pretty good though. Nearly there. Let's get over here to try and get the elephants. Oh, okay, they're technically in range, but I think it's blocked by a building right now. Come on, elephants, you're almost there. All right, we're gonna walk this way. Okay, we should have a shot here with at least one of the units of slingers. Yes, we have a shot. Come on, follow me. And we've lost the shot, come on. You're so close. Follow, there we go. Okay, we have a shot. We've killed one elephant, let's go. Keep firing, this is our chance. This is the general's unit of elephants, so we might kill him right here. Down to 13, keep firing. And they're nearly in range of the Scutarii, which is good. Let's keep moving towards the Scutarii. Yes, perfect, they've run amok. We'll keep firing at them with everything we've got. I just need to kill them. I don't really care about them running amok and doing damage to the other unit. I just want them dead. And I just wanna say, I'm very sad to see that Gurgury the Conqueror has gone completely gray. He's getting a little bit old. All right, they're down to 13 in this unit, which is still nearly full strength. Hopefully they just go attack the other unit. Let's pull up some heavy infantry with javelins to maybe just right over here. That'll do a good amount of damage if anyone charges this way. And with them running amok, they're nearly making contact with the enemy elephants over here. We could get some elephant on elephant violence. That would be perfect. That is exactly what we want. Come on, you're so close. It's either that or eventually they work their way over to the slingers. So, oh no, maybe not. Maybe they'll just go this direction. Unfortunate. But I guess with enough time, they will make their way across every part of the city and eventually find their way into the enemy elephants. So maybe we just wait for that. All right, they've wandered off far enough that I'm comfortable moving my infantry up here just so we can potentially get some javelins into the enemy elephants. We have so many javelins here. I think we can handle them. We just need to make them run amok. We don't really need to kill all of them. We'll be able to deal with them a lot easier when everyone's run amok. Get a little bit closer. I'm not going to risk my slingers yet. All right, come on. All right, we've gotten a bunch of javelins in, killed a few elephants. They haven't run amok yet. Okay, that's it, I'm, I'm ending the battle. They ran amok, that means a win for us. I'll take that, we lost one unit of infantry, or I guess it was mostly uh, Numidians, but we lost 161 troops, that's all right. And Nibini is ours. Now we have a couple of different options here. We can enslave, exterminate, or occupy, and Dimity we could probably keep under control, but it's so far from our capital that honestly, I'm tempted to just exterminate Dimity. Dimity and Nept, I really don't care about these being big cities later in the game. I'm fine with exterminating them now. I want them to just be under control, public order wise. 
And wow, look at how bad this city is. Everything's been damaged by rioting. Ah, uh, man. The total income of this city is like 1,500 denarii a turn. Not very good. We're going to go ahead and repair a whole bunch of these buildings, try and get the public order up a little bit. We'll bring down the tax rate. And we want to train probably just some slingers here, maybe some skirmishers to deal with the enemy war elephants that are on our door. How far away are they? Looks like about two turns from Dimity. So let's keep following with Philo the Allergites. Abdeshmoon Famius is probably just going to immediately besiege Dimity and try to take it back. I'm so tempted to just send something down to Nept to try to pick it up. Maybe I'll send one general. I'll send... Gregory the Butcher. Oh, wow. He has a new name. He went from, I think, Conqueror to Exterminator for plus 30% bonus to cash gain from looting, which makes him the Butcher. So, oh, man, he's a little bit scary now. Let's send him with... Can we train a unit of infantry? No. Okay, Numidian Mercenaries actually would be useful to keep indemnity. Or defending against the elephants. I'm going to send him with a unit of bull warriors and a couple units of cavalry to Nept. And he's going to try to take out their capital. It's like seven turns, even though it's not very far, just because there are no roads out here. We're just walking through the desert. Hopefully he can destroy the Carthaginians before they take Dimity back. I think I could defend Dimity, but you never know with those armored war elephants. They're kind of a wild card. And it pains me that we are at that point in the campaign where literally one turn can be an entire hour of gameplay. But we have spent almost an hour on this turn. I'm going to go ahead and end this turn. Hopefully we can get at least two turns in this part this week. But we have some bull warriors finally ready to be sent over to Greece. Um, just in time to have nowhere to send it because Apollonia has been besieged as well. But Apollonia has fantastic defenders. There's absolutely no way that Quintus... Tigellinus will be able to take it with just a few units of heavy infantry. We have so many gold weapon slingers here. Um, we'll easily be able to defend Apollonia. I am very worried about Thurman. Definitely not the same situation as Apollonia. We are going to have issues defending Thurman. But let's see how close we are with our armada. Just one more turn until we're able to defend Thurman. Hopefully we don't have to take it back, but you never know. It's, I mean, at any point they can take this city, so they just have to decide to do it. And we have a faction destroyed right now. I wonder who this is. Thrace has been destroyed. We were allied with Thrace. So, man, there are not many factions left in the game. We have Spain, Brutii, Egypt, Carthage. Carthage is about to be destroyed as well. Parthia, Pontus, Germania, Britannia, and Scythia. So a good amount still left, but yep, another one bites the dust. Probably destroyed by the Scythians and mostly the Brutii. Let's take a look at our end of turn report. We did profit 21,000 denarii that turn, mostly because we sacked Dimity. We have, oh no, a Slubber de Gullion for Kerbassi the Conqueror. See, this is why I hate taverns so much. Get rid of this Bardic Circle. We've ruined Kerbassi the Conqueror. I really hate all of those tavern type buildings. Not worth it at all. We're going to keep building troops here. But yeah, that is a shame, Kerbasi. You got a slubber to go in. No, we got a new general, Ortsi of Hispalis. He looks pretty good, honestly. Untouched by Fear is really good. Homely is not great because it's minus two influence, but he's all right in Cordoba. We probably can find something to do with him. Let's send him up north. We'll send him to France. He'll be useful up there. Take a look at our construction report. In Syracuse, we got communal farming. And we'll go ahead and build stables here. Nothing else really to buy. Definitely don't want a tavern. In Masana, our population is getting way out of control here. So we're going to train some peasants. At some point, we might need to enslave or exterminate Masana just to get it under control. But for now, peasants will do. In Dimity, we managed to repair most of the buildings that were destroyed in the siege. But there are still a couple more. And it looks like we've successfully diverted the attention of... The Carthaginian army with the war elephants. Abdeshmun is probably just going to defend his capital at this point, but I think it is too little too late. We are still marching Gregory the Butcher south to grab the Carthaginian capital at Nept. I'll continue sending Bilo the Allergites over to Dimidi. 
he will reinforce that city. And let's keep an eye on this general with our spy. And we successfully completed two turns. This is a pretty uneventful turn compared to last one. But let's go ahead and end this part here. I will say this was a kind of mixed bag of an episode. Thurman, I'm glad I was able to defend it. But I just don't see how I'm going to defend it again. With, I mean, there's just nothing left in Thurman. We fought so many battles here. I'm, I'm going to bring this captain within range of the city just so maybe we can bring him inside the city if there's a battle at Thurman. I, I'm just hoping for anything at this point. All of my cities are very unhappy with me as well. Crodon is red-faced. Tarentum is blue face. Capua, they're unhappy with me. So we are kind of fighting public order on all fronts over here. We may have to start exterminating some cities, getting population under control. But thank you so much for watching this episode. I cannot believe how far we've made it into this campaign. It's definitely slowing down at this point. I'm going to try and pick up the pace a little bit just because there is still much to be done in this campaign. We're only at 35 regions, so we are going for total map domination. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a good amount more work to get there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.